Hi everybody! So today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and fun dishcloth. Um, I'm going to use, um, it's kind of going to be a granny square kind of dishcloth. And I'm going to be using an eye hook, some cotton yarn, this is an accru color, and a pair of scissors. To begin, make a slip knot. And you want to leave a tail so your work doesn't fall out. And you want to and you want to chain four. Now you're going to slip stitch to the first chain into the first chain and make a ring. Join it making a ring. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you want to double crochet back into this ring. So double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. You want to chain one and double crochet again into that ring. We're going to make two double crochets. There's one and two, and then we're going to chain one again, and double crochet two more. There's one, and two. Chain one, and double crochet two more. You can work over your tail. Chain one and slip stitch to your chain three at the beginning. You want to slip stitch into the top to finish. Now you are going to slip stitch into this chain one space. and chain three. One, two, three. Now double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet into that same space. Now you're going to skip over to the next chain one space, and double crochet, and then double crochet one more and chain one and double crochet two more into that space. There's one and two. I need to grab some more yarn here. And now we're going to do the same thing in the next two chain one spaces. You're going to make four double crochet separated by one single crochet. Okay, here we are. We're just going to slip stitch to our chain three at the beginning to finish. And then we're going to slip stitch again into this next chain one space. Just like that. And see the chain one spaces will create our corners. Okay, chain three. One, two, three and double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet into that same space. Now at this point we are going to we are going to start double crocheting into the tops of our previous double crochet. So that way it'll kind of fill in those these holes as opposed to making a granny square. And that way our dishcloth will be a little bit more solid. So there's my first double crochet and my second one. And now you're going to double crochet into the corner. Make two. Chain one for your corner and make two more double crochet into that chain one space. Okay, now here we are again, um, 
we're going to place one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. There's one, two, and then we're going to skip over and double crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, and two more double crochet. I am going to let you continue the way we've been, placing two double crochet into these two um, stitches right here, and I will see you at the end. Okay, here we are at the end of the round again, and you want to slip stitch to join, and then go ahead and slip stitch into that chain one space, and chain three. Double crochet, and my yarn is splitting. <laughs> this cotton it likes to do that. Chain one, and two more double crochet into that same space. Okay, now we are going to double crochet into each of the following five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then to create our corner, we're gonna do two double crochet, separated by a chain one, and two more double crochet. Okay, then you're going to double crochet one into each of the following five stitches on the next three sides. There's one, two, and three. And I will see you for the next round. Okay, here I am just putting my last double crochet in and slip stitching to my the top of my chain three at the beginning. And as you see, it's coming together really well. And you can keep going. You can make your dishcloth as big or as small as you want. Just go ahead and place the double crochet separated by the chain one in the corners. And you can place one double crochet into these center stitches. So I'm gonna do two more rows and I will show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, now we are going to slip stitch to our chain one space and chain three and you're going to double crochet one chain one double crochet two more and now we are going to double crochet into each of the following stitches so we've got two four six seven into each of the next seven stitches. So go ahead and do that, and I will see you for the next round. So you want to place one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we can start our corner. I will let you finish this round. You just want to place eight double crochet in between your corners, and I will see you for the next round. Okay, so this is how our dishcloth is looking so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one more row. That's as big as that I want it. Um, you can make it pretty much as big or as small as you want. And what you're gonna do for the next row is you're gonna place one double crochet into each of the next 10 double crochet of the previous double crochet. So, 10. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. And then you're going to do your corner. Okay, I will see you in a minute to finish off. Okay, so I have just finished my last row. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos, and have a great day. Thanks, bye!